Hi right, guys, Harry Sunday here, letting you know that there's a apparel company that supports the game that you love. It's called There Is Only One Football.com, guys. They've got all sorts of stuff from caps, t shirts, water bottles, all sorts of accessories, even for your mobile phone. All that sporting stuff you can wear anywhere you want to wear it, guys. That's right. And don't forget the website it's on There Is Only One Football.com. Listen, uh, time, time is up. Yes, it is. I, I am serious. Well, people think I can't be serious, but I can be serious. Now, time is up because I'll tell you what. Uh, well, this is constructive criticism. I have to listen to this it. tonight. Uh, the ninjas, the bulls and the oh, jets. so many people uh, tonight, my God. How many? A couple? Oh, a few hundred. Two or three. A few hundred. A couple hundred people. Well, listen, Jesus. the ninjas, the jets and the bulls, they have Who to... is... Do you know, lady, I'm going to say this. There's a lady called Sonia Campbell. I wonder why she's watching right now. Sonia I wonder Campbell. why she's watching. Sonia yeah. Campbell. There used to be a... Uh, I remember a Jimmy Campbell played for Heidelberg, apparently. Maybe it's Jimmy Campbell's wife. Must be. It could well, be. it could be. So, look. Now, let, let, let's get serious here. Uh, the Ninjas, uh, the Bulls and uh, the, the Newcastle Jets... Did you they see? They are getting nobody at the game. Did you see? Well, let me finish. What about the uh, road they build? The road they're building now. Did you see the road? What bloody road? They're <laughs> getting the shovels of players. They're getting the shovels. Well, of anyway, the road. I the say bloody... out Jesus. those three clubs in order to make this league better. Uh, let's put in South Melbourne Hellas. We can say that now. Hellas. Nothing we else. can put in Marconi and Sydney Olympic. Now you were. There it is. It's a different. It's a different era. A different era. Oh, hold on. Where's, where's the Olympic job? I've got it up here. Olympic shirt. There it is. There it is. That's right. So yeah. why don't we chuck those three teams in 
And then you watch all the people go through the gates. It's bound to work. You put me at the gate to So Jimmy all. Johnson, is it Jimmy Johnson or Johnny? What's his bloody name, that guy? Is it Jimmy James Johnson? Johnson. James Johnson. Well, James Johnson, is he a member? The name's Jimmy, he, James he's Bond. A, he's a member, isn't he, Jimmy Is Johnson. he James Bond or what? Well, he could be James Bond, but if he's watching... Bloody hell. Maybe he should take some notes. <laughs> Sit down, buddy. Well, so stop laughing at us, okay, mate? Please, that, mate. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, why not? Oh, uh, but listen, bloody listen. Bloody uh, bloody uh, do you know there's a shortage of Santas in Melbourne? I know that. There's a shortage I've of Santas. I've done the job. I won't do it anymore. And uh, can you give us a script? All you have to do to qualify, all you have to do is say, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Now, have a shot at it, and I'll have a shot, and You're then our talk- special guest, maybe he could be Santa Claus oh, too. Jesus. Wait, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad. Look, look, I'll give it a go. Ho, 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 Merry oh, Christmas. Jesus, Jesus. 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 Now, do you think I'll get a part-time job at Chatston doing I'm that? sure of it. Well, it'll be a couple of hours a day. Now, now, but I'll tell you what, I am excited. We've got to introduce this guy. Yes, yes. And uh, is he here? Did he, is he here tonight? Did he I'm looking around the room with all the crowd right around yes, him. They're yes, clapping uh, their hands. Uh, already, guys. Well, look at this. Well, there he is. Georgie yeah. Campbell, come and join well, us. Georgie Campbell. Going, Georgie Campbell's here, guys. I am going to... Georgie Campbell joins us live in the studio and what a football is. Yes. Welcome, George. Put that... You better put those on. The man has lost the plot. He's playing that song again. Welcome, Georgie. How are you two? Uh, welcome to Football S. If you can get it close to the microphone, we'll be all be happy. Be South Melbourne. Let the man talk, will you? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, George, uh, it's a pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. Yes. Uh, we finally meet. I have seen you. I know you, but you don't know me, but you know me tonight. Well, there I you go. You tonight. And, secret. Um, well, Harry. Well done, George. Welcome to joining us. Mate, you've come a long way. We yes. we apologise. We thought we, you were, we were in Richmond, but we're further away. Well, <laughs> it sounds R, right. R, and, uh, R and R is like Richmond yes, or Roxburgh Park, same uh, sort of thing. I've got one of these babies for George if he wants a crack at home. Would you like one, uh, George? What do you think? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll not, that? Yes. After our introduction, I think Why you've not? Let's have a beer. Warm night in You've driven me to it. Yeah, it's a good old Carlton drive. Now, it's George, a as well. George, George, Cheers. when you first came to this country, yes. well, how did you feel coming to South Melbourne at the time? We're going to call well. it Hell. They were calling it Hellas. It well, wasn't Hellas, was, though. Hellas, days. wasn't it, George? If you can get close to the microphone, George, that's all. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, Hellas, it was purely Hellas. And uh, obviously, uh, these were exciting times for me as a young lad because uh, I'd left Scotland and uh, arrived here basically two days before my 21st birthday. Gee, gee. So, uh, yeah, so it was, uh, it, was quite, uh, it was quite a big change for me, to be honest with you, after coming from the cold in Scotland and uh, well, coming well, over well. here. Aberdeen, Aberdeen. What well, now? Aberdeen. You came from this club, a big Scottish club. Yes, they were. Yeah. They were in. They were wearing the red shirts. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Now, what? Where, how did you get to Aberdeen first? Now, did you play junior football in Scotland? Of course. Um, look, I came from the Highlands of Scotland, which was uh, a little bit remote from the mainland, and uh, I was spotted as a, you know playing from a schools football, playing schools football, and uh, assigned as a thirteen-year-old. Uh, what they called uh, an S S form back in the day, oh, schoolboy form. Oh. Gee, fantastic! So basically, you started as a schoolboy. You yeah. didn't have a club. No. So they saw you playing football. And I went directly. Now, now um, we've got, yeah. we get a lot of people from England watching this show. Uh-huh. Will yes. they know this club in England? I'm sure they will. Linux this Lewis? school. This school. Oh, no, they wouldn't know the school. I don't think the, the, the school was uh, Loch Harbour High School up in the Highlands of Scotland. So. Now we've got a lot of Scottish guys watching tonight, and yes. they'll be on very shortly. David and Ben, he's Scottish, isn't he? Of course he's. <laughs> of course. Well, everybody's got. Of course, as I said to you, Edward Kenneth Taylor, King Kenny's watching, <laughs> oh, so he would know. He Taylor. would know this school, wouldn't he? Of course, you can mention that now. No, and the king, the king, the king wouldn't know this school. <laughs> he was he was from the Lowlands. I'm from the Highlands. Aha. Uh-huh. But that's right. I Highlands. So they called you Highlander. A Highlander. Yes, that's right. That's so, Frothy, what did you got with George? Uh, well, listen, uh, King Kenny. I was uh, talking to him the other day, Georgie, mm-hmm. and um, he was a bit upset back in the day. He said that um, he didn't expect the young George Campbell to come all the way from Scotland, from the Highlands, as you call it, mm-hmm. to actually come here and dominate the game and um, quickly earning the name of the White Palais. Uh, mm-hmm. That would have made you feel really big when you heard that. It, it, it had to be one of the best things you could hear as, as a well, soccer player back then. Now it's football. Yeah, look, I guess uh, it was it was quite an honour, but, you know, wasn't anywhere close to the real one. <laughs> well, not exactly, but uh, playing in the NSL against the, obviously, getting around the defenders and the midfielders, mm. 
there was a lot of games we remember well, and I suppose you remember well, and uh, a lot of people who watched the NSL, you were passing them with the greatest of these. Uh, were they committing or were you that good? Did you have that ball? Uh, was it stuck on your boot? Did, did you have special boots? What was it? Uh, we've, we haven't seen anything like it since. I did a lot of practising when I was a kid in the streets, which probably doesn't happen as much as it probably used to. That's um, right. But uh, I, I learned basically my football technique on the streets, playing 1v1s against uh, my neighbours. Yep, and yep. Uh, dribbling was a big facet. It was yes, a big, yes. And back in the day, I, I looked up to a couple of uh, really good wingers. Uh, one played for Celtic, believe it or not, Jimmy Johnson. You mentioned that. Name, Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson. Johnson. Did he play there? Is he the same bloke? It's he? not the same bloke. No. Could be, it could and, be his son. Uh, the other one was Willie Henderson. Uh-huh. Um, oh, there's, yes. There's a left winger called uh, Willie Johnson who I really rated highly. And he was a Rangers man, of course. So they had uh, a big um, influence yeah, on you. Rangers and Celtic. It's a war, isn't it? Isn't it a war, a war with these guys? Uh, well, it's is not it the... the uh, is it the... Holy, so I'm not going to go to Hooligans. Nah, it's, it's sort of like... A, 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 it's the real derby, isn't it? I think it's, derby. It's, it's a real derby. It's a real rivalry. Yeah, sure is. Frothy? Well, listen, uh, I can't remember last time. Did we give you the 30-second shot clock? No, we didn't. I don't think so. You it's don't remember 30-second shot clock. So, look, what we're going to do here, uh, you're going to try and answer these questions within 30 seconds. He's calling you Bud. Uh, Somebody's calling you Bud, Georgie. Bud. Uh, and that's uh, Kenny. Is he calling you Bud? Bud. <laughs> we're taking, calling you Bud. Kenny? Kenny, Kenny, Kenny's, Kenny's calling you Bud. King. Well, look, you've got 30 seconds to answer these questions. Go on, eh? uh, Now, we, we have a stopwatch here. Uh, so if we come yes, to yes, any yes. difficulties, or oh, we might have a discussion for about half an hour on a particular incriminate. question. I'm not going to be incriminated here. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Clean uh, questions that, uh, well, look, some are related to the great game, football. There it is up there, football. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, well, here we go. Now, Harry, have you got the stopwatch going? It's right on here. I've got it right Thank you me. very much. So you've got 30 seconds. <laughs> Quick answers. Oh. Sorry about that. Horace the Crow. But, Mark, again, is he bloody... Right. Can you bloody... Yeah, can you bloody... <laughs> for no, 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 I've got it tell you what. Okay, here we go, Georgie boy. Uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Favourite mm. movie? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Well, can you pause the clock there, please? I have to, I've <laughs> got it paused, mate. Uh, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, it, it, I've never mm. seen it. Uh, Harry, have you seen it? Somebody's kissing us. Here. <laughs> what the hell? Have you seen the cuckoo? Oh yeah, I went crazy too watching it myself. So you watch it? It's a good film. They right? locked me up too okay. with the chief. You know the chief. Usually, uh, no, no, the chief. Yeah. Usually, it's the Godfather. A lot of the mm. big name players we get. They say the Godfather. Well, start the clock, please. It's on now. Here we go. Uh, hardest opponent? None. Oh, answer that. <laughs> no, I don't no, think you know. Who was your hardest opponent? Who, who did you say I can't get around him? Uh, Danny McGrain of Celtic. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Mm. Okay, then. Well, let's keep going. How do you like your steak? Uh, well, I've gone off steak recent recent years, to be honest with you. Well, when you did like same it, as how me. did you like so, it? Actually, George, I'm uh, the same as you. Medium. Medium. Same here. Thank you very much. Uh, coffee or tea? Uh, tea. Uh, best soccer player of all time? Pele. No, uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I will dispute this, Georgie. Uh, well, you, we'll stop the clock for him. There's, there's only one guy and he was the best. Oh, you know, Kenny F. You, is it? No, it... Georgie Best. Is that your name too? Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. come on now, Georgie. You can't compare Georgie Best to Pele, for heaven's sake. Oh, it's not not much difference to you. Oh, yeah. You say that? You yeah. really believe yeah. that? Yeah. Best was good. Pele used to say, that's his favourite player. Yeah, well, did. maybe the second best, but well, you've got a Mar best, look. Yeah. You have a Maradona and a Messi after that. I mean, and a, yes. and a Zidane too. Absolutely. And Platini. It's too many, and, mate. Um, He's in jail uh, right now, anyway. Paolo uh, Rossi. Uh, remember Paolo Rossi? Uh, had him. Uh, he, won the, he won the World Cup for Italy, man. Yes, he did. Uh, well, here we go. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. A vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Corona. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Yes, Corona real or not real? Corona real? Yes, it is real. And we're not talking about the beer. So mm. you, you, you got Carl. That was my first reaction. Now, here's this one here. This is what, it's an interesting one. Back in the day, was it disco for you or rock and roll? Disco. Disco. Well, how did I know that? Now, Harry, how did we go on the clock? We've got a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds. Well, you've qualified. So at the end he's of the year, he's made it. we are he's going to it. be putting all these uh, interviews together. And the quickest time will be getting a prize. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And the prize is a slab of beer, so yes. I suppose it's a thought that counts, George. Now, that's, very uh, that's fair enough. I have, I have, I have these, well. I have these things the in my mind, George. I've never watched the cuckoos. It's usually, I, I get these explosions in my mind. My brains, it's, 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 we, we are called the sucker psychos, of course, George. Now, the thing about this is, 
Um, Harrison Ford. You like, you got off the plane. When what what yeah. date time year you got off the plane from Scotland and went to South Melbourne? The date time. Um, we're getting very specific here. Oh, wow. You might have forgotten this. I didn't forget this. I think it was the twenty seventh of April. Ooh, this is nineteen seventy eight. Yes, and I think the plane got in around about two o'clock in the afternoon from memory. And is it right that you you went to Middle Park? Was it? No, we went directly to the. Uh, Hotel in Queen's Road that oh, I can't I've forgotten the name of it. Um, the Cuckoo's Hotel, maybe it was called. Probably it could have been. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so, that sounds, and, that sounds and and did did you meet? I met up. I met up with the, the infamous guy, John Margaret, Sam, isn't Sam isn't Papa Savas. I met him at the club. Yeah. Yes, How was, was he? Was he? Was he? Was he laying down the law? This is what we want: goals. We want hat tricks every week. We want the most gold goals of the year. We want to win the premiership the first year. Is that right? No, Sam oh, never God. really, never really got involved. Really, <laughs> solicitor, my God, mate. Oh. Not with the players anyway. He didn't get involved with the players much. Yeah. I see what you mean. So, well, tell me, Georgie boy, yeah. were you under instruction when you went to South? Yes. Uh, we shouldn't say South. We'd always call it no, Hellas. Hellas, right? Hellas yeah, that Hellas. time. It's Hellas. Hellas because different Hellas era. It is. Different era. Different era. Now, were you instructed? I mean, somebody must have seen you somewhere. Who was responsible bringing you out here? Well, they're going to shut up and sit down, mate. Bloody shut up and sit down. Who else would they be? It was the uncle of uh, Bruce McLaren who played in goals for uh, Hellas oh, when yes, he won the yes, NHL yes, Championship. Yes, yes, yes. It was uh, a chap by the name of David McLaren. David McLaren. Uh -huh. The racing driver. No, no. No, that was Bruce McLaren. He was a coach yeah. at uh, uh, Hellas at the time. And... Uh, I'm yeah. So, How did he know about you? Uh, that the McLaren, the keeper, knew of uh, you, and look, so let's get this young fella over. I think oh, it's like anything. Like the, yeah, but, yeah, the, the, the football's a small world, you know. So that's the conne true. Connections are it. Yeah, everybody's got connections. Okay, so, well that's yeah. fair enough. And the, your your game style. I mean, uh, there would have been the training sessions before a match. Uh, were you ever questioned? Did they ever say to you, "Look, you're going a bit too much here"? You need to distribute the ball here. You're holding on a bit too much. Or did they say, well, you know what? He's quite capable of dancing around players here. Just let him play his game. What <laughs> was your instruction? Ah, uh, look, I was... Most of the coaches used to tell me just to go out and play. Just be be myself. Well, I tell you what, mm. I, I, that's, that's the coaching style I like. Because as players going around these days... I don't know how much of the A-League you watch. Mm. But there is some players these days... Well, from about five, six years ago, Massimo oh, yeah. Madocca, who played for Hellas mm -hmm. and then went to Queensland, he had the, uh, well, pretty much like you, I suppose, and somehow we know he had this ability to dribble, but he was instructed not to dribble. Mm. There is players like that, you can tell they have got that if yeah. need be, but we all know now it's pass here, pass back, pass up here, go back, go back to the mm. keeper, go back to the stands um, until we get an opportunity to go yep. forward. Uh, well, that's what I'm think. That's what the, the game lacks today. Uh, an individual taking someone on. Uh, look, a bit like uh, Elvis Cam Sober. I mean, Elvis yeah. Cam Sober is not even it. your left foot. I can't I believe mean, it. You could beat him now. Uh, yeah. But at least he takes on plays. There's nothing else after that. Yeah. But he, he has a go. He, he takes them on. Um, I, I think we're lacking that these days. I think we've got some really good players playing, to be fair. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's... Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you look at the Premier League, I know that's a different level. Absolutely, but, yes, yes. yes. Um, you know, but there are players in the A League that that, that can take players on, and you know, and and they do express themselves. But you know, the game has changed. Let's be it honest. It has. It has. Um, yes. It's a lot. It's a lot more structured. There's a lot more analysis of the game. That's Co true. Coaches go into the. You know, the, the game is really, really analysed now. Um, it could be argued it's. Analyzed to the point of paralysis, you know. That's right. Yes. Um, but I think I think you know one somebody once a, a senior coach once said to me that the game is simple, and we all talk about that. You know, keeping the game simple. Well, it is but, simple, isn't but it? it's very complex to make it simple. Well, that's true. That's true. I uh, and that's that's why a lot of coaches can't do it. it. It's it's hard work. A team. There's eleven players. It's actually hard work. They all have to work together. In other words. We have the ball in the back line. As long as those mm. midfielders are running into a bit of space to receive a pass and it happens so yeah. on further up the ground, you will progress. It's hard work. If yeah, you've got I'll... to sit there and stand there and not be prepared to run into pockets and receive a ball... Are you for real? 
Well, I'll tell you what. Tell you what in well, the early what. in the early days of South Americans, what did they do, George? Well, the South Americans went forward like bloody crazy, yeah. and well, they used to cop that did. many goals. They were what were they doing? They were coming forward, scoring goals. No defence, no nothing. Back at the back, they were well, getting all these the goals. South and then Americans, well, that, 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 that was all they were doing at the, at the beginning. Now. You know, yeah. Look, I think the game, the game has progressed. Evolved, yes. Yeah, it's evolved and progressed, and it's and gotten it, better. It is, you say, George? Look, it's become a lot more uh, strategic. It has. It has become a lot more st- strategic. When I bought, when, well, when when we played, it was very much off the cuff. A lot of it, you know. I mean, That's you know, even in, in in the NSL, there was only, I reckon, probably Lenny McKendry at Heidelberg was Oof. probably, but uh, arguably the 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 more. Mod, he he was before his time, I think, as far as coaching okay, is concerned, yeah. because he did uh, organise teams very well and have them very well structured. Um, Lenny McKendry, we remember him well. Is yeah. he still with us, Lenny boy? Oh, I don't think he's with I, us at all. I don't think so. I, I believe he is. Yeah. Is he still around, is he? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, My what's God. He doing these days? We've got to find him and get him on the show. Well, well, we're probably driving, driving, probably driving crazy here. Yeah, we oh, oh, the king. I'll send him a kiss. That's the, that's the king. Now, 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 Kenny, Kenny Taylor, King Kenny Taylor is King there right Kenny. now. Does he have his phone number? Does he have Lenny McHenry's phone number? Otherwise, uh, the problem is, didn't he go from South Melbourne to Fitzroy United at the time? Didn't he go to Heidelberg United? Well, he's been a, Which means yes. uh, the South Melbourne crowd will come and kill us and chop out, you know what I mean, off. Well, so, yeah, that's so right, uh, I get it, mate. I remember those days. Uh, well, uh, now, do you watch much of the A-League these days? I try to, yeah. You yeah, do. So yeah. you're well aware of what's going on, unlike our, my fellow co-host. He doesn't no. give a stuff about the A-League. No, I don't. I, I've got well, a he's all club. NSL. I said, yeah, oh, it's by, by the way, I have to, I've got to say this right now. No, well, you say we right have now. the Everton Football Club watching from England right now. The there Everton you go, Football George. There, there they are, the Everton well, Football Club go. watching Good. right now. This there is amazing, George. Uh, now, listen, uh, I don't know if you saw the uh, game last week. Uh, Brisbane Raw, the great club here. Yes. Two great clubs in this Damn, country, George. You call them great clubs? Yes, uh, and I, I just said two mate. great clubs in this order. South Melbourne and then Brisbane. Uh, victory and nothing. Now, we know that. I don't know and, nothing And I predicted last year that. with Joe Mirabella. We had him on the show. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. And I predicted Jesus. they'll come last. And he had a laugh at me. Really? Well, he thought I'd just uh, sit here and talk. Uh, can we say shit? Can we no, say uh, you well, can I say shit. Yeah, yeah you've got to go to the toilet right now. And, 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 he, and he thought I had no idea, but they finished last. Because uh, I said to him, look, have a look at your lineup. I mean, seriously. <laughs> uh, yes, they oh, were laughable. No, they they were laughable. Mm. Uh, but look, uh, the A League now, uh, Warren Moon's uh, press conference after the. What a uh, name. 3 0 loss to uh, uh, the Melbourne. Yes. Uh, what do they call that? The ones with the white V? Melbourne Victory. Oh, victory there once, yeah. I forget Jeez, that. I forgot the club. Uh, his press conference, just like we're sitting here, we got our backdrop. Well, his press conference had the Melbourne Victory backdrop. Now, they can't even get that bloody thing right. Now, you know what? You can't do that. You know that's why? because it was a Melbourne Victory home game, though, Jim. That's right. Well, why don't they have the backdrop of the Brisbane <laughs> Raw team? I well, don't understand. Could, they couldn't afford to bring... Why you advertise it? KFC when it's not Brisbane Raw? <laughs> what are you talking about? They brought down the bloody thing via uh, the bus, the players. No well, more airplane, mate. They've they they got, got no get, money. No they money. They've got to get things like that, Money. Right. No cash. No cash here, boys. when you watch the EPL, oh, yeah. George, you see... Uh, uh, whoever coaches whoever, and in the background they got their sponsors and their emblem up there. Yeah. Uh, such a simple thing like that, people, uh, the uh, AFL people look, laugh at us. To be fair, to be fair, I think the league do do very well. I really look, think, I agree. Um, I agree. I, it's I a think lot it's more professional than when abs- we played. Oh, Let's absolutely, way, absolutely know? more professional. Um, and I believe the game. Uh, look, this is my uh, this is my opinion. I believe the game now is better than what it was. I think as time goes on. Everything gets better. Now, Harry won't agree there. He's giving us a thumbs down. Yeah. Because he's... Uh, <laughs> but not to say there was no great well, clubs in the and well, no great individuals. Well, was it the problem on the weekend when these guys were saying, George, this is a... The, 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 the presenters were actually rubbishing the game. Is that right? Well, oh, Daniel well, Georgeski and Daniel McBain, mate. Um Which game was I watching? Um... I think it was the Ninjas. I think uh, we call them the Ninjas, uh, Western United. Western United, the, the yeah. Green. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were actually... Now, look, different story if we have a bit of fun on this show and, and you know, criticise it a little bit. Like Kenny Affew, he'd have to be the worst player ever playing the A-League. Would you say that, George? Oh, no, don't talk Before, like that. No. Uh, that's the well, second... Well, second you can, uh, well, you can answer that after the show. But what I'm saying is Danny McBreen and Daniel Georgeski at half-time, yeah. they were rubbishing the game. Now, these guys are professional commentators. They shouldn't mm. be saying that on air. Yeah, well, it's... A, 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 little bit, a little bit disappointing, that, I must admit. Yeah, well, look, I, I guess they're on there as pundits and they have to 
you know, see it as it, as they see it. Well, they do, but uh, look, if, we, if we're struggling to get people there, we, we're trying to hype up this game to get it up and running mm. uh, to make been, people go. I mean, we've been doing that for years. Well, I know, it. I know, I know. did it. At, that's why the National League was formed in 1977. That's the to one. To transform the, uh, the game in the country. You know? um, I think one of the biggest mistakes that we've made, and it's easy, hindsight's easy, is to take away from you know take away the ethnicity from yes. the game because that's what, well we're all going to agree with that because yeah. um, that's what's growing the game. I mean that's, that's well this is correct. You know, teams like exactly. clubs like Hellas, you know Heidelberg, Macedonia. Cindy, what did you Cindy. say, George? Oh, yes. George, see that shit behind you? Yeah. Do you know how old that is? Do you know how old that is? Is that that's older than you? That is not authentic. But we've got a sponsor who makes the 1977 yes. Phillips League shirts. Yes. Have a look at how authentic that looks. A lot of how old, oh, we call Fitzroy United, Fitzroy. George. But I'll tell you, well, George, you wanted a shirt. You also yeah, wanted a reach? shirt. You wanted a shirt yourself. <laughs> I have someone to talk to you about that, oh, by the way. Yes, uh, and I do. Which and one I do. is George? Is he going to go for the Preston one or the South Melbourne? Oh, one? I think the South Melbourne one. Uh, the Hellas one. Not talking oh, about the Hellas, Hellas one. one because uh, Barbarossa Suzo. Uh, Barbar- yeah. but was that the sports back then? Was it Barbarossa? I've actually got that in my bedroom. That one. You have oh, a good. Oh, not my bedroom. In the room. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we have uh, Gavin Walker. He's a uh, big member of uh, South Melbourne. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully we're going to talk to him a bit later on. Very shortly, yes. Uh, he's mm-hmm. going to put in an offer for that because he collects everything got to do with South Melbourne. Mm-hmm. And um, is there a, a, a starting price for that top? So uh, we can let Gavin know. I don't not, think so. It's not sellable. Well, let's <laughs> put 500 bucks on it. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. Well, Unbelievable. It's, it's, it's part of my memories. No, well, that's fair enough. Now, George. No, fair enough. George, now... When you, the first day at South Melbourne, no, we're going to say Hellas. Yes. Middle Park. Yes, that's Did you one. play your first game at Middle Park? Yes or no? Yes. Now, let me say, did you get a lift? Somebody drove you there or what happened, first of all? I got picked up uh, at the airport by Jim Dimitaris and uh, Bill Jurjeski. Aha. Uh-huh. Was that no, that's and, a Macedonian and, fellow, was it? And Pierre Pallas. My God. That's the one you went to school with. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, the, that's why I'm dead. These three guys, well, Jim's passed away now, unfortunately. God rest him. Yes. Oh. Um, but uh, these three guys became very, very good friends of mine. Okay, now, what I'm going to say is you got out of the car. Yes. You walked across the uh, where uh, the front of the... the were you smelling some kind of food? Was it? Was it smell? <laughs> well, there would have had to be some yeah. that, that, that day, they must have sold records of lackeys. You're walking through the door... Yeah. I mean, come on, George. Did, did you kind of thought, I've got to have this stuff before the game? Did you have any at all? No, I didn't. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, <laughs> I tell you what, uh, we have a pass player that you played with. Um, mm-hmm. Can we name him, Harry? Yes. Can we name him? Um, well, no. was it was it Duncan Cumming? Duncan Cumming. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, we are. Yeah, now he told us, uh, we he spoke did. to Duncan. Yeah. And, uh, yes, yes. He said uh, you had at times a Savlaki during half time. Uh, is, it right? is there any truth in that? Oh, I think he's telling porkies there. So he's telling a porky. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, Duncan, oh if he's God. watching... You Duncan, can... Duncan, you're telling porkies, it's, mate. It sounded uh, just like uh, Peter Tzalakis, what we were saying to him. Uh, well, Peter Tzalakis said, he liked the Savlakis, he liked the ham beans. He said, well, they're not the ham well, Savlakis. Right, yeah, but... <laughs> what a joke, that was funny. Well, you would have been tempted, I suppose, at, at, at some point in time. Uh, so, I, but... I, I had my fair share <laughs> after the game. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> plenty of sustenance and energy to get yeah. on that field again. Is that right, George? Absolutely. Of course. Now, well, George, George, these days, these days, what are you doing these days? Now, I know you were coaching, coaching at uh, yes. the, the Eastern Lions, Lions. Eastern, Eastern Lions. Lions. Yes. Eastern I was at the Eastern Lions. Now, what, um, are you, what are you up to now, right now? Um, I've uh, decided to have a rest this year. Um, I'm still coaching at uh, Xavier College, uh, the school. Um, but, uh, yeah, not doing anything at the moment, so... So did they... Another, know, another unemployed somebody's gonna coach. Answer the call. Somebody's going to answer this phone call. What's happened? Who are you, who are you Hello? To Hello? Who is this? Who's that? Hello? Check one, two. Who is this? Who's this? Uh, it's Andy, Andy Bazookas. <laughs> what the hell is he? <laughs> <Andy Bazookas>. <laughs> 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 what is he? Andy. What are you doing, Andy? Welcome to <laughs> Footballers. Oh, what a coincidence. You've got a friend of yours next to us, right? And you can talk to him, George. Yes. There well. you go. How are you, Andy? Hey, good, Georgie. Uh, what very, you very. Um, I've, I've, I've watched that very good. I just want to say. One thing about George, we know the white pillow, we know everything. Yes, but, absolutely, uh, yes. But uh, he, he's, all, <laughs> he's also very competitive. Hang on, 
Sorry, the frog is lost. Sorry, Andy, can you say it again? Trumpets up. Well, I tell you what, Andy, you would have had a few nightmares when Georgie was approaching you with the ball, I suppose. I'm sure. Did you ever say, how the hell am I going to stop this fella? Andy never, never, Andy wouldn't tackle me. No? What? Andy was in the opposite way doing the same thing. Well, he he wouldn't tackle you because he he, 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 didn't know when you knew. No, because he was doing the same as me. Well, like, oh. I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, what the, I, I think I'm thinking about George Bazikas. No, George Bazikas. No, no, that's a, that, that wasn't City. his brother, wasn't his, Andy's what? brother. Andy, that wasn't your brother, was it? No, no, no. no oh, no, no, I'm kind of all bloody confused. Well, it doesn't matter. Now, now, did you ever, did you ever have a go at George on the ground? Did you ever, that, that yellow jersey of yours and, and his blue jersey, they clashed so much mm. for so many years. What happened to this bloke? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Every every time George uh, got the ball, I, I went on the other side of the ground. I didn't want him to make a fool of myself. So. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I said a couple of seconds ago. No, yeah, that's uh, not true. I've uh, been very humble. No, that's that's very true. That's very true, George. <laughs> yeah. Now you know that. I've seen I've seen I've seen all your games. Okay. And I've I have noticed I was very observant. Is that the word? Is that how you say? Observant. Haven't looked. Very observant. Even look. at ten years old, mm. and I could see you approaching. A couple of players there, and some sort of just wanted to drift off to the left or the right. They they just said, you know what? There is no point here because, well, let's face it. Now, Andy, uh, you can you can confirm this. Uh, he was just too good on the ball, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was. Uh, he was a he was a magician. He was a magician. magician. He was. A now, magician. now, now. One thing I'll tell you, Andy. Now, <laughs> we're talking here. Georgie's turned up. He's turned up in '77, of course. '78, that is. And then all of a sudden, this other guy turns up with him. I mean, the the unbeatable, unbeatable Hellas, the unbeatable yes, Hellas yes. of nineteen seventy eight. You won the cup. You saw the, I saw the cup with you and, uh, and and the photos there with Alan Evans. I mean, that's yes, something, that, that was the dog of the cup. Yeah, unbelievable. And 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 to win that cup there with all these people. And, how was Heidelberg, uh, Fitzroy United feeling in those days when South Melbourne yeah, were there? Well. And you were a South Melbourne boy, a, a Hellas boy too. I remember the story you told Hi, us. I think. Heidelberg beat us more than we beat them. Are you serious? Come on, Andy. Well, Andy no, tells us. No, I've done my research on that. No, yeah. uh, they played approximately. Uh, I think you could Google this. This yeah. is true. This they played approximately fifty-seven times, and Hellas have got the wood over Heidelberg. Yeah. Oh, but that's Excellent. overall. That's overall. Hey, but back in that period, overall, overall. Back in the period that me and Andy played, I think. Actually, that's right. That's when me and George played from seventy-seven yeah. to about eighty-five. I think we had the edge on them. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I remember a uh, five-two drubbing at Olympic Park. There you and go. George was just uh, uh, King Kenny. Correct, George. King <laughs> Kenny. Well, there you go. Yeah, he knows what we got. Uh, total big people here tonight. Well, listen, we're going to go slightly off the NSL here. I like to do comparisons, George. Yep. I'm going to go. Uh, look, very hard it's to Andy's answer. Is what? He's still with us. Oh, yeah. Andy's still with us. us. And you know what? We're going to get Andy's uh, opinion as well. Uh, we're going to go Aaron Moy or Paul Wade. Who Ooh. would go down as a better midfielder? Mm. I know it's different eras, different generations, but picture Paul Wade at his best, Aaron Moy at his best. Who would you have in your club tomorrow morning? You, you're talking to me? Well, Ask yes. Andy first. Well, yeah, let's yeah. go Andy first. Yeah. George is going to Google this for the answer. <laughs> I would take I would take Paul Wade any time. Yeah. Oh well, I I sort of sense a lot of uh, bias know, in the cell there, I suppose, uh, Andy. Uh, the two but, different, oh, two, 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 two different, two different players, players two but different uh, players. but Paul Paul was a workhorse and he just ran all day. You'd love that sort of player well, in your team. That sort of player became well, the Australian captain as well. So there you go. Yeah. Well, there you he go. Did, but Aaron Moy's quality too. Let's face yeah, it, well, he's injured yeah, at the yeah. moment. He he's a. Gun. If you had. If you had uh, Moy running as as much as uh, as uh, Wade and and Wade distributing the balls that Moy gives, then there'd be two quality players there. That, which they are quality players anyway. They're both quality players. Well, George, uh, what about your answer there? Who would you go for? <sighs> I, I, look, as Andy said, the different types of players. Yeah, they uh, are I different, mean, exactly. Uh, well, Wade, Wade, Wade was a very very um, industri- Hard industrious player, and uh, whereas Moy's more of a technical player. Oh, that's correct. Uh, I tell you what, well, it, it's the way the game is I didn't either. really answer your question, did I? Well, you sort of did, I suppose. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, no, well, look, that's all right. Uh, now, listen, uh, mm. we, we just, uh, is Jesus, that Brittany, Brittany again? Going? Now, can you tell Brittany to Brittany, sit it? down with a crow, uh, wouldn't you? You bloody crow. Get, get out of your mug. Oh, get out of your mug. 
Oh, I've got him now, again. I can't keep missing him, George. Now, we're going to go. We're going to quickly go through the games here, George, and yep. let's see. Uh, what you can tell us about him. Now, you said you do watch the A-League. Yes. Uh, the Knicks uh, played Western Sydney Wanderers. The Knicks lost 2-0. Uh, now, I saw that game. Was it a well-deserved victory to the Wanderers, you would say? Oh, I didn't see it, so You yes. didn't see it. Okay, well, I'll answer that. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Who's on? I'm getting all these questions. I'm getting all these answers from, from King Kenny. We can, Kenny, Kenny. <laughs> we've got to get him on. We have to get him on. <laughs> well, Do you know King... what he's saying to me? Ken. What's he What's saying? saying? Fence sitter George. What does that mean? Fence sitter George. Means I'm not making a decision. What is he? I'm not giving you answers. Oh, oh, that's fair enough. That's, that's what it enough. is. Well, look. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go to this week's draw and give us your tips. Right. We've got to ask Andy as well, I'm, by the way. And I'm going to jot these tips down. And next week, yep. we're going to see how clever how you are. are. Yes, yes. Uh, we're going to go uh, Melbourne City versus Perth over oh, here. No, I can't. Now I'm going to put a tick next to your too tip easy. here. Uh, well, it's not easy. Uh, Melbourne City. I'm going to go draw. You don't want to draw. I'll put a D mm. here. Let's see how this well, that's, works. That's this going works to be yeah. uh, Melbourne City. Okay. Uh, well, Melbourne Ask City. Ask Andy by the Andy's listening uh, to. Uh, Andy, what do you think uh, this coming week? Uh, Melbourne City versus Perth Glory. Who would you go for, Andy? Uh, Perth Glory. Oh, there you go. Uh, I want to go. <laughs> I want to go for the underdogs. No, well, that's fair enough. Uh, Newcastle Jets are playing. I uh, uh, can't see. Uh, Wellington Phoenix. Uh, Newcastle Jets. That you go for the Jets. They're, they're actually, put a G here. Decent. Uh, Andy, you'd go for the Jets to beat the Knicks? Yes, uh, go for the Jets. Yes, I suppose. They had a good one against uh, the Spurs, uh, I suppose. Arthur, Arthur Pappas, I can't believe what he's done. Uh, done I can't uh, believe what he's done with them. Well, can I make a prediction From now? From the school of Ange Buster Cobbler, of course, isn't it, George? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. it is, but can I make a prediction now? Like, I had made a few, George, and I've come true, believe it or not. Uh, Arthur Pappas won last the year. You serious? He won't see you at the campaign. You know, you know, he, you know this bloke here. Now, and Andy, I tell you, mm. this guy is. I tell you what, he I, is the oracle. Said, what makes you say that? Well, I just don't think he's up to A League standard. Uh, we we had a, a John Anastasiadis. Is that the way you pronounce it? Yeah. That bloke, uh, yeah, John. A proven a proven championship winner with you know with uh, Green, not Green Gully. Where Bentley was it? Greens. Uh, Bentley, Bentley Greens. Greens. And um, he can't sort of get a gig, and ben somehow Arthur Pappas. I don't know. Look, I wish him well. But ben, Bentley Greens have given me a message for tonight, by the way. Really? Is it something? Yeah. Is a scoop, George? No, well, can you share that with us? I, please, can, I can actually share it with you. Yes, absolutely. Please, Go and, hang on, George. Now, everyone right out here, and watching us here from all over the, uh, England, yes. Scotland, uh, uh, Madagascar, everywhere. We're yes. talking about Timbuktu in uh, Egypt. Yes. Now, let me tell you something. This is absolutely going to be a scoop. No one knows this. So George, flash news. There so, we go. So, uh, my good friend Mano from uh, Bentley Greens. Yes said to me today, he said, let them know, that's you two. Yes, us. Oh, that they hate us. Whilst Hellas and Heidelberg or Fitzroy were the powerhouses back in the day. Yes, that's true, yes. Bentley Greens are the new powerhouse on, on the street. Well, oh, I'll my tell you what, God, um, my. Well, I'll tell you what. They're clapping their hands even, <laughs> these people out here. Now, that's the what, bloody what crowd. Get, sit down, would you? What was a chap's name? Tony Mamaris. What do you call no, him? No, no, Menno. A, a Menno. Uh, okay, well, well, when you get in contact with him, Arthur, maybe we call uh, him he's got, he's got a problem, though. I'll tell and, him why. And I'll we'll get, have a conversation. I'll now, give you I, his number. I said this. Uh, We've got to get this bloke on. We're going to get him. We're going to give it to him. We're going to get him on. We're going to give him a torch in the dark room with a torch. And bloody give it to him. And possibly Joe Mirabella at the same time. I'm going to have a mate, dig at that guy. I'll tell you something right now, mate. I've been to Bentley Greens. Guess what? Uh, well, you know, makes you luck. He's very good. That's for sure. No, no, no. <laughs> but you can't compare Bentley to South Melbourne. I mean, seriously. I said this a couple of weeks background, ago. Background. What, you mean now? Kingston well, Heath. Well, I'm talking about generally overall as far as success, yeah, history. Have won, they've, they've won a... They've won they have. Three. Three premierships in the last they what, have, six, they seven have. years? I understand that, but... That's, but that's no, that's no. Is this guy having his gut? He's I know, us. I know. But what I'm saying is, I said this about three, four weeks ago, Melbourne City were playing South Melbourne in the FFA Cup, and now, I said, the best team in the country is playing the biggest team in the country. Hmm. Now, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. I do know what you're saying. So, the biggest team in the country... Oh, so, you, now, you, can you tell you, Brittany, still, this little bitch here... I know. You, tell, tell, tell it's all that, but John Sazza's fault. John Sazza. Now, we have a member called John Sazza. Yeah. Uh, the he's, king of the... King of the, involved, the, the god of the game, we The call god him. of the game. Now, uh, Well, George, I just simply say this. Regardless where South so Melbourne play... this guy... For me, they are the biggest club in the nation. This guy... George... Fair enough, mate. That's fair enough. This guy wants to show... 
Uh, Andy, are you there, Andy? I'll I would, take it as a yes. I would yeah, come here. I want no, to ask Andy no, this no. question. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Bentley Greens just said that they're the big, they're the better, the better club than uh, Heidelberg United in South Melbourne. What do you think? Uh, well, I think Bentley Smoke. No, I, I think stuff, um, maybe. I think it's proven that Heidelberg has probably been the most consistent side uh, in the last. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> so that's like biased. Coming there, it soon, is. Eh? there it is, right behind me. Uh, right behind me, uh, Andy. Are you try, are you try to get a job there again, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, let's go back to the tips. We're going to go yeah, go Adelaide, Adelaide United against, uh, I like to call them VARFC. Do you know what I'm talking about, George? Melbourne VAR. Victory. victory, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Victory will win, though. Well, oh they're my playing God. the Reds in Adelaide. You go for victory, Victory will win it. They have to well, bounce back after last well, week. Well, I hope you're wrong. Mm. Uh, now, uh, we got the Western Sydney Wanderers. You haven't asked Andy for his tip, yeah? yeah exactly. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, Andy, Andy uh, now, uh, Adelaide United or uh, VARFC? Who are we? Leave them alone, man. Uh, well, they are. They got robbed. That's Adelaide so United. Absolutely. Thank Ooh, you very much. And I'll tell you what, what's his name? Mohammed, uh, what's his name? Mohammed Toure Salah. What's his yes, name? Yes, that's him. Yeah, Mohammed Toure. He will score a brace. I'm not saying nothing now, about remember that. that. Mm. Now, remember that. Now, now, hold on. Yeah. We got yeah. 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 Sit down with this. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll, now, listen, uh, one more game. The Central Coast Mariners are playing Sydney FC. Now, Sydney FC are not a powerhouse anymore. I think that's... Uh, I don't it's think they they're, so they're done. Oh, they're done. Yeah, they're, they're a powerhouse. They're a big club. Well, I'll tell you what. They're on their way down. They're, you think? I think so. It's a negative, mate. They've had a very average start, but they're, well, they're, not, they're, not, they're not. They're not. They're still. They'll still be. A team well, to be. I say this with yeah. Lafondra and Bobo and Ninkovic and all these guys. They should be right up. Yeah. They're getting old, though. Well, they're all getting older. I mean, oh, well, how old is Kenny Afew these days? Is he still playing Kenny Afew? You know about him. <laughs> get, get him back. We, at, we voted him the George worst wants him back. Uh, NSL player ever. No, George, George uh, wants him back at uh, Heidelberg, well, by the way. Well, George Katsakis wants him back. Yes, we've heard about that. But I tell you what. Now, Harry, I've got a few more. Have you got any questions for the, the great man here? Now, what I want to say to you, George, is that uh, you are working in the game still. Is that right? Because you are actually working for MITRE. Correct. Now, what are you doing there, George? I'm the national uh, sales manager. Well, well, well. We want to talk to George about some sponsorships right now. <laughs> oh, we're really happy about well, this. George, we're George. Here, sponsors. Now, George, we're ready to go money. for you. We'll do a show for Mitre as well, whatever. Well, we'll get on the ground and we'll talk. No, I'm only joking, George. <laughs> no, that's okay. So what are you doing? What, what, are you, what are your things that you do as a sales manager? Oh, look, my, my job is to uh, look after the whole operation as far as the team wear division is concerned and uh, obviously try and build the brand. Fantastic. Now, that brand's been around for how long? My God. Well, look, from a football perspective, yes, as a, as, as a football football brand, it's been along, uh, around since 1873, yes. I think it is. Wow. Is it an English company, of course? Yes, it would have to be. Yes, from oh, the north absolutely. of England. And you guys supply the FFA Cup ball, is that right? Yeah, we do, yep, and so, the NPL balls. Absolutely amazing. Now, George, is there, is, what you just said, the FFA George, Cup balls and the NPL balls, are there, is there a difference in those balls? Oh, it's a different ball. So what what is the difference between the two balls? Of course, you're the boss. Well, there's a lot of t technical aspects, which... He's lost again, mate. He's lost. He's gone. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it, there's a lot of technical aspects of the ball that are different. Um, but in essence, they're both, both what about, balls. Now, in, in other countries now, you must supply some other countries' leagues as well. There'd have to be in Asia somewhere at least. Some leagues will be using... Scotland. There you go. Oh, and Ange will be really happy about that. Scotland. SPL. Yeah. Can you say Scotland like a Scottish man? How would you say... It would, it does it go like Scotland? Scotland. Exactly. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Yeah, and we'd like to Sounds ask... Uh, Ken, at all. He says, oh, what's, it? what's this? What's this? Yeah. Uh, King Kenny says, can I have one of your business cards, George? <laughs> well, why not? There you go. He, he must run a bit. Yeah, wasn't he, wasn't Ken, he in some Ken, company probably, as well? I don't do golf clubs, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now, Kenny was actually involved. At a, a, was it Adidas? He was at Adidas. Adidas, man. So yeah, Jimmy you have Campbell. a rivalry there between the two companies. No, no, actually, well, Jimmy Campbell and myself started off with Adidas. Uh-huh. Jimmy started before me, and then I joined him in 1979, not long after I'd uh, been in the country. Yes. And uh, then Kenny just arrived not long after I'd left. Fantastic. So this <laughs> a player to go from coaching and working in, in, in a business that is involved in the game, you must get the, the latest information on the, on the latest equipment and everything. Yeah. I mean, this is... George, you, you must get so much stuff from, from England, brand new stuff that a lot of people don't know about. Have just, you anything that's coming up brand new? Yeah, we just got the new FA Cup 
Uh, yeah. FA Cup ball in oh my last God. week. So this is the in- this is the ball, ladies and gentlemen. Cup. So yeah. you guys use it there for for next year's year, um, FA Cup. Uh, how much? I tell you what, that deal yeah. would have to be more than a TV yeah. deal, as far as uh, I'm concerned. A few dollars there, I suppose. Of course, got to be a few dollars there. Now, Andy, Andy, uh, what are you doing these days? We should ask you too. Um, I'm working with George and Xavier. Yes. And I'm also doing Manningham under 18s. Fantastic. So you're still yeah. in the game, of course, which is fantastic. And this, we need, we need, this is the problem. Manningham. We need football people involved in the game, and you guys are involved. And all these things that they're saying, George, these days, there are not enough football people involved in the game, George. You should know that. Look, it out. frustrates me greatly because there's a lot of good people that have left the game. Yes. Because of, oh, I call them numpties, to be honest with you. Yes. Just people that are. Are uh, in the game for the wrong reasons, self interests you know, try to promote their sons and all that. It just does yes, my head in. Totally agree. You know, you um, would not, and that's one of the reasons I left Eastern Lions, to be honest with you. Because, okay. Uh, I won't lose <laughs> it too much. Now, no, no, that's we have a special guest from Sydney that. watching you, and you know, you played with this guy. <laughs> now, oh, not the cat, is it? I, I'm going to talk about the cat in a minute, too. Gary Ward. Gary Ward. <laughs> Say hello to him. How are you, Wardy? He's there right now watching. Well, he just, he's just come up on the screen there. Gary now, Ward would you, be the easiest you, player you, to go You know it. who the cat is, don't you? Yeah, of course. George. Oh, George. <laughs> yeah. Peter Catholis. Peter Catholis, of course. You have the same view as him, which is amazing because a lot of players yes. should speak yeah. up and talk about the coaching situation. Absolutely. These guys paying yeah. so much money who have never played the game, George, and I, I know it frustrates you, and this is ridiculous, and we Look, know what's going on. I've stayed in the game out of my love for the game, but it's been very difficult. You know, it's mm. been very difficult to stay in the game because uh, there are less and less people who understand the game actually looking after looking after the game. That's true. And uh, you know, as I say, look, you know, we play we call it NPLs, the elite level, but you know, it's t- it's really a community league to be honest with you. Exactly. Uh, because there's still a lot of nonsense that goes on about you know sponsors, Absolutely. sons getting opportunities a- yes. ahead of. Proper players. We've heard the under the table stuff. You know that, don't you? Of course, you've seen that. Look, look it's uh, it's rife. To it, be is, honest with it is. It is. It um, is. It's, um, uh, and the it's not many. It's not many clubs that actually where it doesn't happen. Well, to my knowledge, anyway, there's not many clubs where it doesn't happen. Um, I get you, George. And it's 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 a shame because yeah, it's it's not right. Um, and a lot of the boys that played that I've got a huge amount to put back into the game. I've been lost to the game. For, for a lot of these reasons, you know. Well, this is where a gentleman that we know... Oh, this is absolutely... We have a gentleman... Uh, we spoke to him a few weeks ago from direct from England. Who's that? He's putting together the World uh, World uh, Amateur Cup, the World Amateur Football Cup. Oh, right. Peter Williams, now, is it? Yes, Stephen Williams. Stephen, He's putting oh, that together and he's really. looking for kids from Australia. Okay. To actually have a team together. I'll speak to you about that later yeah, on, sure. George. He wants to talk about this. He's trying to get a team from Australia. He's looking for, as you are a manager at uh, Mitre, yep. you may want to help him in any way to, to get a team from Australia to go to England. Well, I, t- I take tours to the UK every Oh, year. well, George, <laughs> we need to speak. <laughs> yeah. I'll get to Stephen Williams now. Yeah. He's putting together uh, the world, world... He can't... He had a pr- problem with FIFA, mm. calling it the, the yes. Amateur World Football yep. uh, Amateur World Cup. So he's called the Amateur World Football Cup. So they said, yes, you can use that one. That's so he, what, what he's trying to do is he's trying to get teams together an amateur competition that you can actually represent your country. Yep. So that's what an initiative. He's got the FA in England involved. They're involved. Right. And he's going to bring it to Australia too in a couple of years' time. Fantastic. So they're starting in England, and you'll be interested in that. Yeah, absolutely. And this yeah. is and this is a big a big thing. Sorry, a big thing. He's also talking to uh, Scott Oldenshaw. You know Scott. Yes. He's yes. speaking to him as well in Singapore, uh, Singapore or Ma- Malaysia. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Malaysia, I think. That's right. And he's talking to him as well to get a team from uh, from Malaysia. So fantastic. And he's got some TV things happening as well to stream it live on TV. So this is fingers Sounds crossed good. that we can have this in this country. Yep. And we can show the talent, George, and the real talent, because mm. this guy's going to have people coming from from England to actually work everything out properly. Yes. No amateur coaches. Mm. He wants coaches that are going to actually. People that are real coaches, yep. people who are who are up and coming coaches, even yourself getting involved as a coach in this competition. Number so let's just see what happens. Right yes, and of course, yeah. and he's he's been watching tonight, Stephen Williams from England. He's yeah, been good. watching. So there you go. And can I mention that yeah. Andy? Andy will get involved too, for sure. Andy said he is. Uh, Manningham, are you Andy? Yes, I am. Uh, is there any uh, room for Harry and I? Uh, look, I can. Of course, I can be. get involved there. I can. I can make the a show there, and, and Harry can you're cut more, the oranges at half time or something. Do you think he can accommodate? 
You're more than welcome. Well, there you go. Uh, we, uh, we just got Andy, to Andy, job. Andy, can you imagine them doing the half team? Have time talk. <laughs> of course, mate. Well, I'll tell you mate, what. The tomatoes will be throwing the tomatoes <laughs> at us and bloody souvlaki. He's a big now, listen, hell, mate. Jesus, listen, mate. After the com- now, Andy, I don't know if you watch the A League. Uh, George says he watches a bit. Yeah. Uh, the commentary on the A League at the moment through Paramount. It's fantastic. Uh, and, and I'll tell you what. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not lying here. With a little bit of training. I just shot the old A League. Uh, you got it there. Uh, now, with a little bit of training. Uh, 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 this is not a joke. I believe Harry and I can do a better broadcast. Of course we can. Uh, those commentators there, they are flat. Mm. They have... Um, it, it just looks they're like... Rob- they're robots. They're there just to get paid. It's, That's right. W- well, there's one going around, uh, Simon Hill. He's a great He loves us very well. well. He does love us, and oh, we love him back. Can we get him? Well, a blind me kiss, I suppose. Well, no, <laughs> he's a good man, Simon Hill. But look, he's a great commentator. Uh, but yeah, it's getting a little bit secondhand, mm. the uh, Paramount thing. Um, we love it. Um, yeah. And, you know, on top of that, look, obviously, Foxtel was never going to last. I mean, the ratings go down, people don't go and watch it. And tell me something would you agree with this? We have too many, I, this is my belief, we have too many uh, so called football lovers here, or soccer lovers, uh, that uh, claim they are uh, the, they're the first ones to criticise our game. Mm. Uh, so they prefer not to go and watch it. Mm. Uh, even though they don't watch it, they still say the A-League is rubbish mm. uh, simply because they know the Premier League is much better. We have too many people living here comparing with another league. It's not about comparing. I believe this. I went and watched the Melbourne City-Brisbane Raw game. Yes, uh, there was a couple of schoolboy errors, and that's fair enough. Uh, these guys aren't... Well, we know they're not in the league of a La Liga or a Bundesliga, uh, but I really, really enjoyed the game. Mm. I'm not going to sit there and say, well, I could have watched Liverpool at home. Well, I don't want to watch Liverpool at home. I want to watch our product. Yes. We live here. We should support our product. And I've said this before. You go to Rebel Sport, and there you've got all the... Well, not all. You've got the most famous English Premier League jumpers there. Yes. And try get a jumper from uh, Interstate, like uh, you know, mm. a Newcastle jumper mm. or something. They just don't promote the game. Um, mm. So there's something going on. It, 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 it's been going on. But it's been going on from the start of time, even the old NSL days. Yeah. And even worse back then, it was getting no exposure whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, the big boys, AFL, are uh, purposely killing the game. And it's slowly dying at the moment with the crowd figures, George. Would you agree to that? Look, as a spectator of sport, there's a lot of competition. When, when the A-League started... In 2005, it was a new era. And was, the yes. crowds were quite amazing because they started it up as a summer sport and um, there, were, there wasn't much competition mm. because AFL and, you know, they had cricket. But now every other sport's gone to summer sports as well. So there's, That's right. there's a lot more competition. That's there's right. a lot more That's competition happening. for people's dollar. And How do we get the people there, George? And do you have any type of answer? How do we get the supporters at the ground? Cheaper. Bloody cheaper. It's too expensive. That's what's going on, George. Well, I know it's, that. It's a hard question. Yeah, um, look, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, initiatives that of that you know the A League clubs undertake. Please, you know, and they do they do try very hard. Um, of course. You know, but uh, look, the, the standard of football is good. It's it's as you said. I believe I went so. To, I went to Melbourne City game, the first game against Brisbane Roar. Oh, you were there? Were yeah, you? yeah, I was there. And uh, I thought that was a very good game. Actually, it was. It was yeah, a very good game. It was a very good game. I mean, you know, players are. Players are very good nowadays, you know. Like the, they are. The, the quick transition is. Um, yeah, look, the game's, got, the game's got faster. You know, exactly. players are fitter, stronger. Yes. You know, so, so. But as a team, as a team, they seem to be better. But as, as individuals, mm. the old NSL players were really at least on par think, with the good individuals yeah, now. There's, I think. I think it goes back. Uh, you, you asked me the question about getting p- people back. I think. Victory have done an unbelievable job of getting a fan base. Well, they um, have, yes. Now, a lot of people say that that fan base came from Hellas. Well, um, uh, it's a fact to a certain arguably, degree. Uh, yeah. Yes, and there's nothing but, wrong with that. And, and you know, like, so so Melbourne Victory, by far, are the, the most professional club in Australia. Mm-hmm. By far. They're, well, they're, that's correct. They're miles ahead of the rest. I yeah. hate to admit that, but that's correct. Um, so, I think... What the other clubs have got to try and emulate is the Melbourne Victory, you know, format, basically, because, you know, and it's not, it's not that easy. It isn't that easy. No, but, no, uh, absolutely. But you know, I mean, you would think that 
a, a city like Melbourne could sustain two club, three clubs? Well, you'd think so, but mm. um, even though Melbourne City, uh, they are better than a victory at the minute. Yeah. Uh, again, um, it goes back to again. I, I didn't. Sorry, sorry, I didn't finish no, you're my right, point. Yep, but yep. Um, it goes back to the ethnicity. I think that was a massive yep. mistake. I believe so, and that was uh, Mr. Hill, another Hill that was responsible for that. He yeah. thought by getting rid of the uh, the ethnic colours yeah. and teams that this game will grow, and yeah. um, it's going backwards at the minute. If yeah. I have seen further, it's because I've stood in the giants of those that have gone before me. Mm. That's right, That's exactly right. right. Now, exactly Andy, right. Andy, your last thought on um, yes. the way the game's played in this country right now. Um, actually, uh, to be truthful, I, I don't follow it much at the moment, but... Uh, when I do, I actually uh, think it's. Uh, I see. I, I do see a lot of uh, people at the at the games, and um, and and the the quality of, of the the games. Of course, you're going to get some bad games, and you're going to get yes. some good games. Yes. But overall, I think um, I, th- I I think we're, we're quite doing well in Australia. I, I think the yeah. games, it's quite good. It is. That's my thought. Absolutely, I agree. I think a lot of people are saying, uh, Mandy and George are saying that, um, who did we have a couple of weeks ago? He said basically, um, you know, the current Socceroos, they are basing it on that. They're saying, well, look, if you go back 15 years ago, that Socceroos squad, they were all playing in a, hmm. not all, but all playing yeah. in big clubs. Uh, P- Peter Bryan was Peter the, Bryan, P- Peter the Bryan Middlesbrough player. Middlesbrough player, that's right. Um, yes. Now, that, that sort of says a story as well. Uh, our best aren't really... Um, Look, uh, well, the Socceroo team, they, they could, you could say they could um, they'd probably just get over the line over Melbourne City as far as, because half of Melbourne City can play with the Socceroos anyway. Um, they, they're comparing the Socceroos these days, and uh, Bozza had a go today. Oh, I know Arnold, that. And he said they're not going to qualify. Bloke. He's a great bloke. Um, I hope they do, but um, uh, Mr. Arnold has got, I think he's got his favourites, a bit like Eddie Thompson with Paul oh, Wade, yes, George, yes, yes, when he's yes, at yes. Canberra. Uh, didn't do much, but chuck him in the Socceroos. He did very well, Paul Wade. That's right. It's all about man- management, isn't it? Yes, yes. I'll tell you what. And, um, but, uh, look, uh, oh, oh, I'm out of question. Well, I'll tell you something right now. Mr. MPL's not not with us tonight. Why? Where is he? I don't know where he is, but he's not with us on the screen and he's not coming on, uh, does it look like? Well, give him a call. Well, I, can, I, I don't think I can give him a call because he's not on the screen saying he's coming on. Well, he might be having a nana nap. Maybe he's bored with me. You never know. I'm sure yes. of that, probably. <laughs> well, now, I did tell him the, the great man's on tonight. And I'm yes, pretty I know. sure I know. he'll well, take well, the call. Maybe that's the reason. We, Andy, that's the reason Andy, he's not on. we'll have to let, thank you, Andy, for coming on with us. Thank you. Thank you for and having we'll, me. We'll, we'll, again. we'll chat it again, no problem. I'll play Andy's Thank you, Andy. Well. Tune. See Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is Been a story tune, in itself, George, when, he, when Andy, his story a few, a few weeks ago when he spoke to us yes. about he, they, 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 they got rid of him and put him in, in, in Heidelberg from South Melbourne. You know the story? Mm. He told you the story. Mm. I cannot believe that, eh? Mm. He mm. could have been such Salamides a player. Salamides yeah. swap, was it? No, no, it was a Ulysses Kokonos or something. Was it Kokonos? Yes, swap. yes. yes. Now, I'm trying to get him, but if we can't get him, well, that, you know, first of all, I, before we I ring him up, we'd like to present George with some stuff, some goodies Absolutely. that he can take home. George, uh, we've we got a roll our... of uh, masking tape. No, sorry. <laughs> no, he's done it again, mate. What have we got? There is only one football. He's got two caps here. Uh, thank two. you very much. Why is it two? Tony? Because one, one of his grandkids. Uh, oh, grandkids sorry about that. that. Yeah. Sons, well, whatever. Maybe one for the missus as well. Exactly. She might like the game. And there. also, a, and there is only one football shirt for yes. you, George. Very nice. Okay. Sent now, over from, from Adelaide by oh, our it. sponsor. Now, I hope it's an extra shirt. small for George. No, no, that's his right size. We're not talking about height, we're talking about the waistline. That is the right size. Turn around so people can see it, Frothy. Absolutely. There is only one football. There's only one Brisbane Raw. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, sorry, Our sponsor that. guys uh, makes uh, all sorts well, of shirts. Have yes, a look at this, guys. There is yes, only one football. Uh, nice there. It is actually a football shirt. There you go, yes, George. Very good. Enjoy that one. And, Thank uh, you very you much. Put no your problem. Name in there, the white Pele. We should have got that. <laughs> we should actually. Done, we, we're going to do something next time. For Why sure. don't we send it back? <laughs> And no, no, post no. It out. It'll take three months. White... That took us yeah, three months of Adelaide. My easy. God, man. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't say white Pele these days because it might be looked well, upon as racist. We'd like though. to thank David Ben for supplying uh, the stuff for George you, as well. You is, thank you, Mr. Days. David Ben, our sponsor white from fo- belly. for Football S. White, white belly. The white belly. Oh, well, no, well, no, no, that's right. You're wearing a dark top. We can't see your belly. That's why I wear dark tops. You can't quite see the belly. 
But having said that, Harry's lost weight again. I've I have lost weight again. I can't believe it, George. Weekend. I'll have to put you on my diet, George. You won't, yeah, you won't believe it. Well, when we started the show, George, Harry was 200 kilos. He's yeah. down to 150 now. Oh, so we got to get 150 kilos. We get 150 well, you were 200, so uh, oh. I suppose it's an achievement. Okay, well, we got, go. we've got something. Football top from, Thank you very much. We've got and something. We've got something here, and 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 our sponsor, David, says my pleasure. There you go. Now and also, Gary Ward has said a few things. Ask White Pele what he would do. To the Haley to improve it. Now, Wardy. Uh, now, on, Mr. Wardy. Ward, we've been saying this in the last <laughs> half set hour. Me up, man. Oh, we've, come been. On, <laughs> know, we've been saying that, Wardy. You have to go back to the replay. We've had Wardy on board, too. He's a really nice fellow. He's really funny, too, actually. It's fantastic. Uh, can I just jump in there? Yeah. How we can improve it, I would say. Warren Moon out, George Campbell in at the Great Brisbane. Why not? Now, <laughs> there's a move catching. right there. And I'll tell you what, uh, well, look at the capacity as a player. Now, Warren Moon, now seriously. What a name for a coach. Uh, now, we're not Is he part about of the Moonies? That bloody, what do they call those guys? The Moonies in uh, yeah, South Korea? I think so. Uh, <laughs> now, he's done a good I, job, man. Yes, he's he has. Done he's done a, done a good, good job. job. He's done a good job. But um, you sort of mentioned something like this before. You still need a coach that... Uh, has played at a very good level. That does help with his understanding of the game. Helps with his understanding the... of the player's psyche. Well, that's right. Look, you do need the players as well, it's, don't it's, you? You, you know, what cattle. I'm saying is a player that's played the game has a good understanding of the psychology exactly. of, of, of a professional player. Exactly. Well, look, I'll be making a phone call to uh, the... Uh, what, what's the owner of uh, Brisbane Raw? Uh, oh, the Bakery Group. Uh, Ian Puri. What's his name? <laughs> Curry. No, uh, Puri. Uh, D- D- David Puri. David, David Puri. Oh, I've got his direct him. number anyway. Well, I've got his number too. I'm a member there. You know that? And cool, I'll, I'll I'm going to put in a request. He and you never shirts. know, we might get Is you that the a shirt job at the club here, the really? Brisbane Royal. That's a shirt he sent you. That's the one he sent you, didn't he? Uh, well, no, this yeah. is the great Brisbane Royal here. I told you, there's two great clubs in this country. No, sorry, I will and go. And George, George, George in both the, the, this is the wrong thing that these people have done, George, to the, to the name of these clubs. Yeah. It is called Brisbane Lions. Lions, yeah. Exactly. That's what we hate about this. Well, Raw. Raw. Well, well, Brisbane Raw. R A W. Are they Raw, are they? No, no. Well, <laughs> it, it, it goes to show you again how the AFL dominate. Yeah. Um, they figured, well, they hold sold on. the name. We've got the footy club. Well, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Well, the, 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 soccer, the soccer team existed before the Brisbane Lions Football Club. Yeah. So it, it does prove that they pull the strings, the AFL, yeah. don't they? It really does. But don't having said that, that uh, it, it doesn't matter. Um, they still are. Thank you to um, Angelo Postacoglu, everywhere he goes. and um, so, been brilliant for the game. Look at these people wow. coming, George, asking you questions. I don't, look at these people coming. Who's on now? Who's call, on now? Well, now, now, now Mr. MPL's on. <laughs> Mr. My MPL. God, MPL. mate. Give him a call. <laughs> Who are you going to call me? George, if we can fix the NPL, can we fix football in Australia? The guy's name is Samuel Pang. Sammy Pang. You know him? Ooh. He's a coach at, He's a coach at Berlin Lions. Aha, uh-huh. nice. there you go. We've got to get Mr. MPL quickly right now, just for a couple of minutes. Well, let's get him on. I tell you what. Now, what this guy, well, this guy will buy anything that is South Melbourne. Anything, George. So have you got him to sell him? I don't think he should. Now, George, start at 500 bucks, trust me. No, 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 no. Don't make him an agent, whatever you do. Let's just double it. After five days, I tell you what, he's all cashed up, Gav. He said to me, he said, Georgie Campbell's coming. The problem up. is this. He, look, he's a bit we young. have to We have to get his sister on first. She well, what happens is... Uh, he's uh, unbelievable. You've got to hear this story, George, about this phone. Oh, my God. Well, look, he's go not going to answer. He never. He, he plays game with us. Look, he's not going to answer. <laughs> I guarantee you. Guess what? First time ever he's answered the phone. Mr. MPL is on. Give him a hand. <laughs> What happened to the phone? Dead. Hang on. I got to turn the... <laughs> what happened? What happened to the phone, man? Are you still oh, on there, Gary? I'm going to mute you. I'm sitting in front of a computer and the, your show's going and it's echoing through the room. So, yeah, anyway, all good. Made in China. I get you. Uh, yeah, welcome. We've got Georgie Campbell here. He's talking to you. He's, he's listening to you talking right now. Mate, we are talking about a legend here from 1978 before you were born. How's that? <laughs> before I was born. <laughs> I hey, wish I was. And I Gab, wish I was before, born before 1978, mate. You'd be an old bugger then, that's for sure. And Gab, I'll tell you one thing, mate. You don't remember. You're a little bit younger than us. We remember the great man well. He's my idol. You know that. Uh, yes, there is no South player to have played the game that was as good as this guy. Now, move over, mm-hmm. Fernando de Moraes. Move over, oh, uh, yeah. um, anyone you like. Uh, this guy set the world <laughs> of when he came here. Bootsy. Oh, Bootsy. Oh, Bootsy look, good. they're great players. Trimbold is a great player. But the impact the gentleman here on my left had, uh, mate, uh, 
uh, move over anyone else because he took yep. he came here and he was running rings around him, mate, with the greatest of ease. Remember that, Harry? Do you remember of course, the day? I remember that. I was there. I was the first game. Do you remember game. that, George? Do you remember oh, your George. brain, days? George. I do remember. You do remember? Yeah. Yes. Well, there you go. Mm. But, yes, uh, I listened listen to the interview you had with him a um, couple of months ago. Yes, or, yes. Yes, we did have Six months ago, whenever it was. It was a while, it was a while ago anyway. So, it was, yes. yes well, no, it was interesting. That was quite frenetic, that one. Lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> and they always well, are with <laughs> Murray's and Proppy. They oh, always are. Yeah. They always are, yeah. You can't get a word in, mate. <laughs> the, thing about, the, thing right. about, the thing about this, Gavin, is this man here came... came, yes. he came George came here to the final... What do they say? It's like Star Trek, the final frontier. The final we'll frontier. We'll go boldly go I mean. where no one has gone yes, before to Australia, yes, to absolutely. the first frontier of the game, George. Yes. What was your idea? And now, Gavin, will listen to this. Your idea of mm. getting up to Australia, how did you feel? I didn't know what to think, to be honest with you. I was coming to unknown territory, so I really didn't have much of an idea because we didn't have internet back then, obviously. So, no, no. So to go and research something, you had to go to the library. Oh my God. And, uh, you know, you're lucky if you found any books about Melbourne. Actually, I, I, something came to my head right now about this. <laughs> yeah. You probably thought yes. there was kangaroos on a soccer field. Didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. I was, I came <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't with, have. came with a very open mind and, uh, well, I'm still here. I'll, yeah, exactly. I'll still here, mate. That's all right. So, so Gav, it must have been good. Aussie now, mate. It must have been good. Yeah, Gav, he was, yeah, ex- exactly. he was excited because right. when he came back, when he came here in 78, uh, he noticed footpaths and electricity. Because back in Scotland, then I don't. Was there footpaths there, George? Back then? <laughs> yeah. Footpaths. Did you have roads? Was it? We did have. Well, there you did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Harry said to me it was a very underdeveloped country. <laughs> what did, what did that now, come you're from? talking shit again, are you? Harry? I took that. What did we get? <laughs> Oh my God! Me. You told me they had no footpaths in Scotland. There's no footpaths in Adelaide. What are you talking about? What Adelaide's doing? Adelaide's the same thing. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is. What, what is what is what is Wardy saying? Wardy's giving me these big sentences What's here. What's he giving it? Saying Unbelievable. Now. Come on, George, it's amazing George what they do Ward. here. He says, "Go, go to love you, chaps." George was a brilliant teammate and mine at, uh, and I'll remember uh, fondly uh, forever. There you go. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Wardy. There, there you go. go. There Thanks, you go. Wardy. Yeah, a lot Likewise, of people here that know you tonight. A lot of people, George. So you're very popular in the in this uh, football. Mm. But the thing is, yes. you know, we need to get you higher up, George. How can we get you higher up in the coaching <laughs> stage? I told you. I'll call David. Give, give me a step ladder. Give me a step ladder. What is that? Give me a step ladder. Oh, no, a step ladder, George. <laughs> well, we got the cushion for you tonight. That's why you can see over the camera. Yeah, Who's not, David? No look, one. Another friend of yours. This is David Mary. David Mary. Probably still got that library book. Uh, he Who's oh, this guy? Who's he this didn't guy? return the library book. Is that oh, what happened? The only, the, only reason, <laughs> hey, the only reason I'm not going to give him stick is because he's a Rangers man. Oh, oh well, I, I see what you mean. Doing. That's I right. I see what you mean. Now, now this guy we, you're talking to is a Celtic man you're listening to. Yeah. Really? He's a Celtic ah, man. So there you go, mate. Are, 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 you, are you a Celtic man because yeah. of Ange? Am I a Celtic supporter because of Ange? No. Yeah, no. Um, it's a very long story for me. I'm actually an Arsenal supporter. Yes, but, he um, loves Arsenal Celtic's my second too. club. Um, so, yeah. Why, why, got... why Celtic? Um, well, it's a bit of a long story. My, but to keep it short, my ex-girlfriend from Scotland, her parents, oh, her grandparents, they're all oh. full-on Celtic. They're full-on Celtic. And, God, um, Gavin, that was they converted me pretty much. Yeah, Gavin, that's, so... that's a fair reason. So, Gavin, Scottish girls are right, eh? Okay, yeah. All yeah, right. well, they used to be all right. Yeah, they used to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gav, can Long I... time ago. Long time ago, mate. Back when I was a bloody uh, teenager, to early 20s, mate. So, very long time ago. So, that's, that's how I've become a Celtic supporter. I never watched really Scottish football on TV. And plus, it wasn't on TV back in the early 90s in Australia. Mm. It was all the, you know, that's first the English first division. You know what I mean? The Football League, not so much the... Um, SPL or um, SFA, as they called it back then, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, gee, and then I watched a few um, Celtic Rangers games with her, and yeah. I was just like, oh, mate, how good is this? It's amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, do I say this? Unbelievable one? atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, now, the film games are great. Can I just say that... Yeah, uh, I are. Now, you two people who are right now, George next to me is a Celtic uh, supporter, and you, uh, Gavin. This yes. guy, David Mary, call, uh, David Mary said, who is Glasgow Septic? Ooh. Oh, that's a bit what below the this? belt, isn't it? What are we going to do? That's all right, mate. David, he's, he's in the Rangers fan, mate. He's come, he started, what, nine years ago? So oh, okay. oh, well, I'll tell you what. Oh, my God. Where, where are these people coming with this stuff up from? Well, here? Gav, congratulations, Sets. can I say, uh, first off, Gav. Uh, congratulations, you've landed your job today. And, um, 
You're just in time, mate. Uh, George has got some memorabilia for sale. He's got a top for 500 bucks. Would you be interested? <laughs> okay, yeah. That's uh, interesting. That. Well, a bit out of my George. price range, mate. But yeah. talking about jobs, Froppy, I've got a new job, mate. Well, that's what Another I, new I, job. I told you. That, see uh, how is I, that, is that see the how real? I know these things? I had is no that, idea. I'm going to be the, uh, the new uh, under eight uh, girls uh, coach, mate. New manager for the under eight girls, NPL. mate. Where are both of this? Where is this? St- Which team is this you're talking oh, about? Mountain Hidalgo? Phoenix, mate. Who? Mountain Phoenix. Mountain Phoenix. Oh, yeah, I'll tell Mountain you what. Fe- oh, Mountain Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, I tried to, yeah, I tried I tried to, to get there. I, I tried kid. to get their apparel, by the way. The... Well, why, why, oh. why haven't you got George's apparel? Yeah. Can you tell us that, please? Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, all right, Martin. Okay. Was it Martin? Martin? Okay, possibly. Um, I've only been going back... Um, like two years now because oh, okay. I've been away for a long time, you know what I mean? Like since I was yeah. like, um, I play one year in the reserves and then I give it away after that. So yeah, I haven't been for a long time. I haven't been involved for a long time, but it's been great being back there again. It's been yeah. really enjoyable. That's it's been good. liking it. It's been great. And they needed a coach and like no one's going to coach your team. So I was like, yeah, all right, I'll do it. Because I didn't think my daughter would be too happy with dad being the coach, but mm. She's all right. Uh, so she's all right. Game time, mate. That's, that's the way it works. Good. Uh, what about your senior coach? Are they looking for a senior coach there? Because we have a, uh, a gentleman here that's uh, more than capable. <laughs> no, mate. No, Too good for that level, mate. Trust me, mate. We're in like state five, state five or something, state, state five, five. northwest. Oh. So we're way down, mate. You know what I mean? Like we are so far down for money. That means you need a coach with less qualifications. Harry, are you up to it? I could do that one, I could do that one mate. I've got a zero, yeah, zero, that's zero. That's more mountains on. level, mate. Harry, mate. <laughs> oh, yes, mate. I'll put a bit of rugby league in it as well. How's that? A bit of rugby league in the game. Good, Harry. Right. Yeah, right. A bit of rugby league there, mate. A bit of, a bit of, a bit of oomph. A bit of well, biff. A bit of got, biff. We've just got um, new club rooms built. Oh, we're in, getting constructed now. We're getting a new car park. Um, we've got all new light towers. It's been really good. The council spent a lot of money in the state government, yes, so fantastic. it's been fantastic yes. for the club. So council yeah, spent a lot of money for the wrong reason sometimes. Now, Gavin, 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 have you have you got yes. a clear? Now? We haven't got much time. We've got much data left. That's the other thing too. Data, data. Now the data. thing is, yes. MPL, MPL. Is it going to start or not going to start? Is it cancelled again this year? What's going on here, mate? What's well, Doctor Cups finals this mm. Sunday at um, Fort Who's Dark. playing? Hume and Avondale Heights. So, what? all right, stop yeah, it right yeah. there. We're going to have a prediction here. The great man is going to tell us who's going to win that game. Avondale. Now, Gav, listen up. Avondale. Avondale. Avondale, yeah, I think Avondale as well. They've been the best side did, this did, season. Didn't they play it yesterday? That's right, they did. Yeah. And somebody's behind that. <laughs> and they yeah, did well, play they it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Avondale Heights won the game. The, ga- the game was won by Avondale Heights yesterday. There you go. <laughs> well, I thought it was another yeah, There you go. Yesterday. Well, there you go. Well, this weekend. There you go. Too much coke, I reckon. Well, that is. Mr. MPL said they're playing this week, didn't he? <laughs> I thought it was this week. No, there you go. Well, they won. Yes, there you go. Enough. The game. Enough. And actually, one gentleman, one boy there who's playing that we, Andrew, you know, Andrew Zinni? Of course. I know Stefan Vee. Stefan, well, he's won the Stephen championship. Zinni, that's Stephen, the one, yeah. really? heavy call, so yeah. there you go. He's won the championship. Yeah. Um, there you go. That's the, first, that's the first thing he's ever won as well, by the way. That's right. Oh, he's worked so and, hard. Uh, the women's, um, he's worked so hard, Jenny. George. Finally yeah. got somewhere, you know? The women's semi final was played, I think, over the weekend, too. I'm not sure. Um, South and Boyne and um, someone else, um, the other I remember the other two clubs off the top of my head, uh, uh, for the Nike Cup women's semi final. Yes. So uh, I think that was played over the weekend too. I think it was Saturday, both games on Saturday, yeah, I think, you, yeah. at Boyne. I had to have a look. I'm not sure. I've been busy this weekend. Christmas and stuff, but it's been played yes. out. I haven't really been got to the about we football are running, too much. We're running out of time, uh, Gavin. We're going to uh, get you on again next week. We, you're, you're a bit yeah. late there. You're a bit late today coming on. So oh, yeah, I'll be, yeah. oh, we didn't get home from training, training until 9 o'clock. Oh, and then we had dinner and then... Yeah, go. it's just been one well, of those. That next... is commitment to the game. You have to do it. Correct, Harry. Next week I'll be right because we're not going back to training until February. So <laughs> we'll be right. Nothing to so... do now. Okay, yeah, exactly. Nice, Gavin, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll talk nah. again in a, in a, next week. Actually, Thanks, actually. Harry. Thanks, Rob. Oh, nice by, to by, make by, before, be, before, you, before you go, guess who's on next week? Who? Ante. Who? Ante. Milicic. Ante no. Kovic. And no, you guys have got the wrong Ante. Ante. Ante, uh, Ante Campbell, is it? Or, no, we've got uh, the coach of the Sydney, Sydney Olympic coach. Oh, yeah. What's we've his got, name? I forgot his name, Uri- too. <laughs> oh, God, I'll tell you what. Uri- I'm losing my mind, too, tonight. Ante Kovic, is it? No, it's not. Ante Juric. Ante Juric, that's right. Juric or Juric? Juric, Juric, Juric. Yeah, he's played for Olympic. Yes. Um, played for Perth as well, I think. Mean. Yes, he yeah, played for a few clubs in the NSL. That's he's right. Played, played for Australia. Won a couple of caps for Australia from memory, too. When we, you know, had two teams, we had the NSL team, and then we had yes. the 
Uh, European based yes. team. You know what I mean? That's the old right. exactly. Oceania days, mate. Exactly. That's and the then Australian yes. representative as well. So thank you, uh, Gavin. We'll see you next week with Anto nah. Urich. There you go. No and, worries, guys. And good, good luck with your new show here. coming up, uh, Gab. Do you know uh, new Harry? Show, mate. Is, oh, that's the new, new show, show Frothy. Soon. I know that one. It's called yes. Madness with Frothy. Yeah. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's right, right. Right. Goal or something, mate. Goal, 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 goal. There's going to be another it's rival a, show. Goal, it's mate. We're copying Hollywood, mate. It's a bloody movie. Want to sue me, mate? Well, you never know. It might get up and running. Thank you, Gavin. Talk to you next week. See you soon, guys. We'd like to thank you, George, for coming. Thank you so much. I know it's a long trip you came, but I hope you enjoyed yourself tonight with the crowd. The soccer psychos of Australia. Yes, We're yes, going to finish off. We're going to get George here with us. Pleasure. We're going to get George to clap you his hands. You are a star. Thank you. You were and you still are a star. Thank you, mate. Thank you, guys. Don't forget next week, guys. Uh, what are we going to sing a song? We're going to sing a song for George here. The Cup of Life. That's right. The Cup of Life. Can we sing another song? Please. That's our show song, my friend. Maybe an English song. The Beatles. Maybe I want to hold your hand. Remember that song, Harry? Emily says hello. That's his daughter. Because as far as I'm now concerned, a, we've had some great players. We've had Archie Thompson on. We've had we should have known. We've had a great job, believe it or not. We, we should have known. Right from the top. Now, and when you feel that the world is at your feet. I think you'd be the second best player in the world. I think you've got to give it a great job. So play for a living. I feel that. You want the cup. I would say. You want the cup. I would say. You want the cup. Now it's the case. Here you go and get it. Do you really want it? Good night, guys. We're trying to see you next week on Monday at 8.30. How are we going for that? Thank you, George. Hi, right, guys. Harry Sunday here, letting you know that there's a apparel company that supports the game that you love. It's called There Is Only One Football.com. Guys, they've got all sorts of stuff from caps, t shirts, water bottles, all sorts of accessories, even for your mobile phone. All that sporting stuff you can wear anywhere you want to wear it, guys. That's right. And don't forget the website it's on There Is Only One Football.com. There is only one football!